Hello and welcome back to The Note. Today we're going to have a special discussion in which I talk to Professor Ricardo Hausmann of Harvard University about his groundbreaking work on economic complexity. Now, a lot of these ideas are quite difficult and quite strange at first, but they lead to fascinating and counterintuitive uh, ideas about where growth comes from and which countries are most likely to grow. Ricardo, thank you very much for joining me here Thank today. you for having me. Now, start out by explaining what the project you're working on at Harvard is about. You're looking at economic complexity. W what, what do you mean by that? What are you attempting to map? Well, essentially, the idea is that uh, what drives growth is knowledge, but not knowledge at the level of the individual, but mm. societal knowledge. What is it that society knows how to do? And um, society, uh, no, uh, production requires more knowledge than fits into a single person's head. Right. So in order to make things, you need to put these heads together. And the more complex the product, the broader the set of different skills that have to be mobilized to make something. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to capture mm. um, what products we're able to make and consequently what products are in the, in the nearby f um, vicinity of the things you're able to make that you could more easily move into. Okay, so this is not simply a case of who has the best high school system or who has the best university system. It's about how well positioned they are to, to move from one set of expertise to another. Yeah, it's not about how much time you spent in school, but what is it that you know how to do? Okay, now we have uh, up on the screen here uh, a, a chart which we've adapted from a chart you produced for the uh, Investec Investment Institute uh, journal. Uh, Many people will think it looks like a piece of modern art to start off with. Can you explain, take us through what you're trying to do here? Obviously, you have clusters, you have nodes. What, have, what is this map that you've been building at Harvard? Well, every node is an industry. It's right. a product. And it's connected to other industries that are technologically related, that more or less use the same kind of know-how. In, 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 and consequently, if you were to make one, it would be relatively easier for you to make the ones that are more connected to it. So mm. the cluster to the right, the green cluster, yes. is garments. Uh, the next red cluster to its left is construction materials and home equipment. And then the blue cluster is machinery. The purple cluster is uh, chemicals. And the light uh, blue uh, cluster at the upper left is electronics. I didn't put them there. They put themselves there. This is data self-organizing. You see that there's a periphery of products that are poorly connected to the rest. And those tend to be natural resources, primary products, and so on, where <coughs> the skills and the capabilities that you need to produce one don't necessarily make it easy to produce something else. OK, so if you, if you happen to strike it lucky by, by having a lot of oil under the ground, that may keep you in good stead while it lasts, but you need to take extra steps to be ready to move to the next stage after the oil runs out, for example? Well, it, oil is the big, big blob at the top. And you see right. it has no neighbors. It has just, it's very poorly connected. So the capabilities you accumulate by knowing how to make oil don't prepare you to make the next thing. In a way, the capabilities that you would acquire to make microwave ovens would prepare you to move into a bunch of other electronic products and in a, long, a bunch of other manufacturing goods. So in a sense, there is something to the notion that there can be an oil curse, that if you're lucky enough to have oil as a natural resource, countries like uh, well, your, your home country of Venezuela might be one, one example, it can, it can almost uh, in, impede necessary improvements elsewhere. It, it makes it easier for, for, uh, for politicians and to, to be complacent. Exactly. Uh, a product, uh, from this point of view, a product becomes a good stepping stone if it's highly connected to other products. It has many links in this node because it facilitates the process of further diversification. Mm -hmm.